Today we will learn about the power refinement. As you recall our last video, our best vn sphere was minus 2 sphere and the patient preferred minus cylinder at 100 axis. The 100 axis are our best and refined axis. So now we will learn about the power refinement and for the power refinement you have to remember the key line so the key line is you have to align the axis of the trial cylinder as you can see the axis of the trial cylinder are 100 as our patient choose minus cylinder at 100 axis so the key line is you have to align the axis of the trial cylinder with the axis of the Jackson cross cylinder so we have to align the red line which is minus axis line with the trial cylinder as you can see both the lines of the Jackson cross cylinder and the trial cylinder are aligned so the key line is you have to align both of these lines the minus line of the Jackson cross cylinder and this line the axis line of the trial cylinder we have to align both of them so this is called position number one when both minus cylinders are combined so when both cylinders are combined the power of the cylinder would be double and this is called position number one and when at the same place I flip the Jackson cross cylinder now as you can see the plus cylindrical line is aligned with our trial cylinder which is of minus power so both the cylinder are with opposite signs now the combined power would be zero and this is called position number two now we will ask the patient that position number one is better or position number two suppose patient preferred position number one and at position number one you know that both power of the cylinder are the same you know that the power of the jackson cross cylinder was minus 0.5 and power of the trial cylinder is 0 0.5 minus so combined power would be minus one cylinder so now we will remove our jackson cross cylinder and the trial cylinder and now we will put minus one cylinder at the same axis as 100 now our new axis are 100 and new power is minus one cylinder and when you are increasing the power of the cylinder you have to be very careful about the spherical equivalent and now we will learn about the spherical equivalent now for the spherical equivalent we have to add half of the cylinder into spherical correction but with opposite signs so we have minus 2 best vision sphere and the cylinder is minus 1 cylinder at 100 axis so we have to add half of the cylinder so half of the cylinder would be 0.5 but with opposite sign so the sign of the cylinder would be opposite so now we will add this cylinder into our spherical correction so if we add plus 0 0.5 into minus 2 then the resultant power would be minus 1.50 the remaining prescription would be the same
So now the resultant prescription is minus 1.5 sphere with minus 1 cylinder at 100 axis. So after spherical equivalent, our new spherical correction would be minus 1.5 as you can see. Now we will repeat the same procedure. Now again we have to align the axis of the trial cylinder with the axis of the Jackson cross cylinder. As you can see we have aligned both the axis and now both the minus cylinders are combined. So right now the resultant power would be minus 1.5 as you can see minus 1 is with trial cylinder and 0.5 is with Jackson cross cylinder. So the resultant power is minus 1.5. This is called position number 1. And now we will flip the Jackson cross cylinder and now you can see the plus spherical the sorry the plus cylinder is aligning with the minus cylinder so the total power will reduce so right now the total power is minus 0 0.5 and this is called position number 2 and now we will ask the patient that position number 1 is good or the position number 2 so if the patient prefer position number 1 when both minus lines are aligned so we will keep on increasing the cylindrical power but you have to keep it in mind that you have to maintain the spherical equivalent you will increase the power of the cylinder until the visual acuity of the patient would be 6 by 6 and remember at that point patient would say that both of the position position number 1 and position number 2 are getting equally blur and that point would be our best refinement for the power. So our resultant prescription would be minus 1.5 spherical as you can see with minus 1 cylinder as you can see at 100 axis. So this is our best corrected prescription. I hope this is all clear about the Jackson cross cylinder. See you in the next video. In this video our best vision sphere was minus 2. For example if we have our best vision sphere in plus sign then how to calculate or how to maintain the spherical equivalent as you can see the cylinder is minus one so half of the cylinder will add in the spherical correction so half of the cylinder is 0 0.5 so we will move from cylindrical power towards the spherical power with opposite sign so sign would be opposite so now we have to add both of these powers and the resultant spherical correction would be plus 2.5 with same cylinder and axis.